Hi everyone! I am here today with another episode of Keep or Donate and in this video I'm going to be going through 13 of my nail polishes. I'm going to start off with the shade I am wearing today. This nail polish has chipped really badly and I've only had it on for pretty much one full day. It is OPI's Too Hot Pink to Hold Em. It's a little bit of a jelly finish and it's a beautiful shade, very glossy, very shiny, but it just chips so easily. I didn't put on a top coat so perhaps that is why. So I haven't really been bothering with top coat lately and this is the worst that my nail polish has chipped and so quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and let this one go. The next three nail polishes are all red shades and I wore them all in the same manicure and actually they are all slightly different. So the first one is Sorry by Ocean and it's in the shade Paprika. I wore this on my thumb and index fingers. This is Essie's Headmistress and I wore this on my middle fingers. And finally, this is Essie's Limited Addiction, and I wore this on my ring finger and my pinkies. So again, all three of these shades were very similar, but you could definitely tell a difference when I wore them on my fingernails in the same manicure. I found that Sorry by Ocean's Paprika shade was very dull in comparison to the two Essie polishes, so I'm going to go ahead and let this one go. I'm going to hang on to these two Essie polishes, and again, I mark the tops of these bottles with yellow stickers to know which ones I'm keeping and also which ones I've featured in these keep or donate videos. I decided to keep both of these because they are different enough. Headmistress is more of a berry tone whereas Limited Addiction is more of I would say a deep brick red. So both of these are beautiful and I decided to hang on to both. Next up we'll move on to pink polishes and I tried a whole bunch. The first one is a Nicole by OPI nail polish and this is in the shade Still Into Pink. I wore this on my toes and it's a beautiful fluorescent pink. It's got a little bit of a matte finish but I just put a glossy top coat on and I really like this nail polish. It also lasted a very long time so I'm going to go ahead and hang on to it. I tried three pink Essie nail polishes and I actually liked all of them. I think Essie does dark pinks and dark reds really well and those are among my favorite Essie nail polishes so I am going to hang on to all three. This darkest shade is called Bachelorette Bash and it's kind of like a dark fuchsia color. If you watch my empties video I talked talked about a top coat that I was using from Revlon and this is the manicure that it discolored when I put it on. So that top coat actually changed the color of this manicure. It gave it a splotchy purple look but it still looked fine on my nails and I loved this color by itself before I put on the top coat so I'm going to go ahead and hang on to it. These two pink polishes are very similar but they are different enough that I'm going to keep both of them. This first one here is called Pansy and it's a beautiful mid tone pink. It's a little more cool toned than this one here which is more of a warm pink and this is in the shade Guilty Pleasures. So again I am hanging on to both of these. Finally, the last pink polish that I tried is this little mini from Deborah Lippman, and this is in the shade Day Tripper. I really liked this nail polish. It's got a coral lean to it, and I'm going to be hanging on to it. I tried one lonely yellow nail polish, and this is a beautiful pale yellow that I absolutely love. The only thing is the nail polish formula is a little bit tricky to work with. I think I needed four coats for full opacity. Even still, the color is beautiful enough, and I love pale yellow so much that I'm going to hang on to it, and this is in the shade Buttercup. I also tried OPI's Care to Dance, and I think this is from one of their ballerina collections. I love the concept of this collection, but I found it didn't apply that evenly, so I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye to this one. Finally, I wore two baby blue nail polishes, and I'm having a really hard time deciding which to keep, so I'm going to hang on to both of them for now. I really like them both, but I feel they are so similar, and I feel like I should just keep one of them, but I'm not sure which one. I really loved Essie's Borrowed in Blue. This was my first time wearing it, but it was fabulously opaque. It was two coats for opacity and just a beautiful, beautiful blue. This is one of those shades where I kept looking at my nails because I loved the way it looked so much. The last shade that I'm going to talk about is this Dior nail polish, and this is in Porcelain. This was my very first Dior polish, and I got it in my nail polish subscription. Really, really love this shade, but it is a little bit less opaque than the 
Essie polish, so that's why I'm leaning towards letting this one go. Otherwise, I love it. The color is beautiful. It's just a stunning baby blue, and again, I have an affinity towards it because it was my first Dior polish. So that is basically it for this episode of Keep for Donate. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be back real soon with another one. Until then, please take care, and bye for now.